Good morrow. Welcome to day three. We're just gonna have some breakfast. We're just gonna have a, a croissant and a coffee. Uh, something small, just to get us on the, start the day off it right. I'm not gonna say all that, am I? Welcome to day three. First stop, breakfast. Recommended by a hotel. Mate, this place is beautiful in here. It's well nice. They've got nice little, uh, nice little gardens. They do really nice looking croissants, coffees. They've got like quite a large breakfast menu here. So if you're in Mei Hong Son, which you probably will be, it's a good spot for breakfast really. Day three. Mei Hong Song to Pai. Let's go. Oh wow. It is a really old wooden bridge. Oh. Wow. That is different. Look at that. Amazing craftsmanship. That's, it's just weaved. It's a weaved bridge. And it's pretty long as well. It's proper old school, man. I don't know when it was built. I would kind of like to know a bit of information about it, but I don't know anything about it. So what do you have? What? You feel like you could kill you. What for? I don't know. I just thought you feel irritated? Yeah. That's not cool, is it? Poor Dan. I was just saying there's no wildlife, no nothing here, right? And now look at this. It's not wildlife, it's wild dead. Look at it, mate. It must have been not, not happened too long ago. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's quite heavy. Oh, look how long it is. We just found a dead snake on the side of the road. The first bit of wildlife we've seen since being in Thailand. I was literally, oh, no, come out of the road. I was literally just doing a video saying there's no wildlife here. Look at it, massive. It's been mashed up though. I thought this was a leaf, but it's actually an animal. This little face. Pretty cool. We left at about 12-ish and we've still got 64 kilometers to go. Although today is shorter kilometers, there's a lot of windy bends and uphills and downhills and you can't really go very quickly at all. So it does take a long time still. Uh, yeah, it's quarter past three. We've been going for about three hours now and yeah, we, we're not even halfway. Still got 64 kilometers left to go. The problem is the smog is hectic today you can't see anything really the first two days absolutely great but today is uh it really is actually getting in the way of the of the views you'd enjoy this if you want to see a white wall of smoke but at least the drive's quite fun driving through the mountains we've seen a few weird things my little leaf friend is still on the bike believe it or not he's coming to pie he wants to party in pie you crazy leaf. Like, how did that eat leaf, how did that bug even turn into a leaf? Like, did, do you reckon he looked at a leaf and thought, yeah, 
I want my kids to grow up to be like that. And then they've all just thought, you know, that's a good idea. Let's all be, let's all be leaves. All right, we are probably got about 50 kilometers left. We just stopped in, uh, this is called Byron 124 Caf or in Pang Math. It's about 50 kilometers from a pot. Got a street dog licking my leg. Dogs out here are very friendly. The dogs up here. Yeah, it's along the main route, this calf. But oh, I need a cold drink big time. And I'm hungry as well. And they've got good reviews, so I'm probably going to get some food. We've been driving for about four hours now. And we're about halfway. We have been taking it slow today. Yeah, we have been taking it slow. We've stopped quite a few times. It's quite a few nice spots and we, we found a few scenic spots that we can still see through the smog but uh yeah as you can see still pretty smoggy it's particularly bad today i couldn't help it today i'm really thirsty and i don't think milk's gonna do it so i've got pineapple probably pineapple with milk in it it's a bloody tall glass though and i'm on a really short seat as well look at that Smell nice. It's good. I don't know what I wanted though. I wanted like more of a juice, saying this is going to quench my thirst. What? Oh, okay. Instead of saying a bit cream, like it's a bit creamy in it. Now the passion fruit drinks usually come with a heap of um, syrup in them, so I don't order it. But Nat's one here it looks like it has got a lot of passion fruit in it. Look at that. I said we can share. Got it, mate. Nah, yeah, all right. Well, if you have this other half, that's about half in it. Mm -hmm. There's a sticker at the top. You have to, you have to allow for the girth. Pretty plain uh, dish I decided to have here. Well, I didn't actually even order this, but <laughs> it will do. I ordered a chicken and chicken basil with rice. This is just chicken fried rice, I think. It's all right though. Does the job. It's quite a big portion for out here. Yeah, the portions in Thailand, I think, are very small, usually. This is actually quite good. Get a fair bit here. 80 baht, man, hopefully. Actually, I don't even know what this is, because I didn't order it. The second half of this drive is, is the best. Really, really nice scenery. It's like that everywhere, everywhere. Got the sunset too. Every single day, all three days so far, the second half of the trip has been the best. So, although the first half of the trip today would have been really good if there wasn't so much smog. Second half of each day, man, look forward to them because it, it's, so, it's so serene, it's so nice. big viewpoint up here usually would probably look incredible but um, as you can see it's very very smoky and this is what I mean it's what it's been like all day it's been very very smoky here today uh, there's been a couple of times where that is cleared and we've got a good view but most of the ways look like this it just looks like the fog of war in a uh, computer games I don't know if you, if you know what I'm talking about you don't no, she don't know what I'm talking about. She's not cool enough to know about computer games. So yeah, viewpoints are not really worth it. In between the smog, in between the smog, you get some nice views. We've had some good good spots today. The ride itself has been really nice though, really fun, uh, really scenic in in some areas. I, I would say this this is definitely worth doing if you're in Thailand. Uh, in the season where they're burning off, so it's from like mid-March to mid-April, I believe, is the worst of it. Um, and then they just sort of wait for a rain after that to sort of get rid of it all. If, if you're here just for that time and you're not sure if you should do it, uh, I would say just get yourself a couple of bikes and just do it because it's still been a good, good fun, hasn't it? Hello. Just to add my two cents, 
it's not just about seeing the views, but you also see how like the locals live, people in Northern Thailand, you go through loads of different villages and um, you get to meet like... Locals. Yeah. Locals that are not in a touristy area. Yeah, it's, which, a cool, it's cool to see how they live. Which, yeah, it's always, it's always, always a nice experience to do that. Yeah. And as you go through these villages, you can smell real nice local food as well. Which was always really nice as you're walking, as you're uh, cruising through there. You can smell all the uh, all the Thai spices in there as you go through. It's well nice. dancing for me mate you have been taken on a journey today Aww. he's just trying to find his legs oh he's probably feeling dizzy yeah we went over 100 kilometers an hour earlier oh we've taken him to a good spot though it's good here yeah, it's nice here we we'll like it all right we're, try we're trying to check into this place but we wanted to see the room first so no one's here and look what we found that is bigger in real life as well guys what is that i think it's a wolf spider the thing is, the room is nice, but... The bed, bed's pretty hard, but it ain't that bad. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Here. It's nice, yeah? Yeah. All right, sweet. I'll just book it. Uh, I don't want this room. I don't know what room they're going to give us yet. These jokes. So funny how I said just earlier, I said, I haven't seen any wildlife since we got to Thailand, and now we've just seen all this dead and alive wildlife all over the place. By the way, Pai is pretty awesome we've only driven through there they've got like a longest walking street full of markets and that oh perfect looks all right to me <laughs> it's gone oh the staff member came so we couldn't find the spider now nat won't sleep in there so now we've got to find another place to stay mate it's like it's literally it's nearly 8 p.m and we got nowhere to stay. The staff wasn't even here. They had to come and they had to come from their house to come and show us the room. But we had already seen and the spider was gone, so. Oh. Right, back on the road we go. Uh, that's back where we came from. So we've got to drive another 10 minutes back into the city, into the town. Uh, and um, And it is cheaper. It's cheaper than this room. But yeah, goodbye, Mr. Leaf. We've been through a lot together. Um, I hope you have a great life here and you enjoy yourself and uh, yeah, good luck, mate. You'll get there, mate. You're nearly there. Oh, here we are. You can hear that noise. It's fine, it's just the noise. This is literally your fault that we're here, so but you can't moan at all. Oh, f this place is huge. Waterfall shower. Oh yeah, I'm happy with this actually. This is sweet as, and there's a fridge so I can get some milk. And we've got water, mate. Win, win, and win, win, win. And we've got some coffee or something. Why do they never give tea? Always You've got tea bags. Yeah, but I'd like there to be tea. Free ones? Yeah. Now this place is sweet as. 31 pound for two nights. It's not bad. Aircon works. The only negative about this place so far is this. There's some weird ass frogs making a noise out there. I'll try and get it up, but I don't think it's gonna pick it up. Yeah, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> they're frogs apparently. I don't know how long they're gonna be up for. Bloody party animals. The frogs are in the drains. Oh. oh, oh well, bless them. Pretty cute. Pretty cute little noise they make, isn't it? It's uh, uh, very nice. Hallelujah! This place is awesome, staying here for another night for sure.